guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how to create a scan to view menu using app sheet google sheet and the qr code so what exactly what we're gonna do is the your customer will just scan the qr code and then it will show to the app sheet or it will direct them to to, to the app sheet and view your restaurant menu so i will show you how to do that it's very it's very easy first thing we're gonna do is to create our database i already created my database using the google sheet and i have this category menu the price and then the photo which is saved in my google drive this is a sample uh, data that i have then once you prepare your database you have to create an app so let's go to the app sheet and create an app i'm going to name this app as scan view menu then i'm going to upload that google sheet that i just created the database so here is my sample apps and here's the scan to view menu once i uploaded it i will just wait to load it successfully and then I'll, we will review the tables and columns so this is the first thing we're going to do is to design our menu how it will look like once your customer scan the qr code okay let's close this and Let's review the menu first. Menu table is, I'm gonna just keep it as red only. And uh, it lo looks good. Unit price, price image, and unit price, you can configure the, the currency if you like us dollar or whatever currency you would like so i'm gonna just configure this to see so i would like to have it e three digits and usd already then once you're done for that you have to create a view so i would suggest create a deck view it's nice and it's automatically generated because i have only one table and i'm gonna keep it in the menu view and i'm gonna just review it looks good so category sort by item name group by category and i don't want to give a count so i'll keep it none main image is photo item name category and looks good and then we go back to the data and view. So I'm going to keep this as red only. All right. Then next thing you're going to do, since you're going to use this as a public app, you don't want your customer to scan and then you want them to log, to log in, so which is inconvenient. So what we're going to do is we go to manage. We will keep this app as public app. Um, security so here is the require sign in no need and then just stick this to and save then also you you may go to the branding so you can customize let's review first how it look like so this is how the app look like so if you wanted to go to brand you can add some Let's say you're going to keep it as a dark mode and then you keep it different colors. Let's say you want to keep it as red, for example, depending to you. And then you can change the logo by having a customized logo. You can put the URL here and customize it. In this case, I don't want to go all of this. So you can customize it as well. Then what we're gonna do guys, we have to hide this menu and search bar button. 
okay so whenever they they scan they have no access on the site all right so once you save let's save first so take note again i keep this menu on the menu button which is the sidebar and which is i hide as well so if you are the admin you can see the sidebar of it okay then next is we need to find we need to create a link for the menu so there's no need to create a link because AppSheet provides the link already so you go here to behavior and there is a link here all you have to do is just to copy this and then we need to create a QR code based on this URL so I will create the QR code I'll keep it in my let's say in my Google sheet I think I have it here let me move this okay so I have the QR code here I'm gonna just skip this URL here paste so this is the menu URL which is a copy from app sheet then we're gonna create a QR code based on this so we're gonna put here so the formula for QR code in app sheet is concatenate and then we're gonna use the google apis.com so you can choose the size of your qr code in this case i'm gonna just use maybe 500 by 500 and then in code url you're gonna choose b b2 it should be all good continue encode url b2 okay what's going on in this formula parse error okay just to continue these things so the formula and hit enter i'm sorry it's not b2 it's a2 okay so as you can see we generated already the qr code i'm gonna just keep it as this okay we will try to copy this qr this link we'll see if we can generate a qr code so this is the qr code i will just quickly test this one and if it's opening the the app i'll just get the mobile Okay, let me test the QR code using my mobile and if it's open the I will not show it to you as I'm using the desktop I'll just tell you that if, if this QR code works if I can see the menu yes it's working and I can see the menu as well all right perfect okay so to test this in this stuff what you're gonna do is we have the url here i'm gonna copy this anyway this url is the same with the qr code and what you're gonna do is i'm gonna test this to open in incognito to see how it's look like if users using it all right let's see 
So this is an incognito. It doesn't have an access to my app. So we'll see how it's look like. All right, scan to view menu. All right, so this is how it's look like if if they scan the QR code in their mobile. So here they can see the menu and doesn't have access to the side. So this is the only thing that they can see. If they click the details, I mean the, the icon, they can see the photo and then the price as well. So this is how you're gonna create a scan to view menu. And what you're gonna do for these, um, for this uh, QR code is just, you need just to print it nicely and put it somewhere in your restaurant and let your customers scan, scan the QR code and they can see the window. So this is how you're gonna, so if this is how to do it. And also you can add some quick action here where in let's say, uh, go to this, go to this, or let's say, add to orders. So that will be in another, in the another video. Let's say this one, if they like this one, they can click and add to order. But that, that will be on the another, on the next video. All right, if you learned something in this video, uh, don't forget to subscribe or comment if you have any questions. And thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video. Bye.